Welcome back everybody, this is Dave the Gamer. Today we are looking at eight raid add-ons that you wanna to have to really maximize your DPS and to be able to get loot and everything else depending on what type of guild setup you are. We're gonna jump right on into this, but before we do, I wanted to remind you, everything I'm talking about is going to be in the descriptions with timestamps, so if you don't wanna hear me ramble on, or if you wanna just jump straight into, what eight add-ons is he talking about? I don't wanna fucking hear him talk. You could do that also. But uh, yeah, starting off with number one, DBM. DBM is Deadly Boss Mods. Some of these are gonna be mainly geared towards uh, someone just getting into WoW, so if you already know these, great but if not there might be a couple that you don't know so stay around but deadly boss mods is going to show you basically w during big raid encounters uh as an example crow magnus when he has his deep breaths it gives you a heads up you know 10 seconds nine seconds it, it gives you a time frame of when that you need to get behind a pillar or hide or whatever so it, i find it to be a must add on for all raids number two threat classic two or you could go with t details tiny threat and as you see on my bar right here this is a, a uh, what it's going to look like is this threat and when you actually are there you just want to make sure you're not number one unless you're the tank pretty straightforward i found uh threat classic 2 to be a little bit more accurate as far as threat goes over details uh, but let me know what you think on that one number three classic raid assist so classic raid assist, I can't really demonstrate it, but take my word for it, it is very great. It does a lot of little details. Um, as an example, in MC, when you douse the flame, it lets it know in raid chat, so-and-so douse the flame. Lots of little minor stuff. Another little cool thing in MC is it lets you know whose turn it is to loot the damn core hound. Apparently this is a struggle still, months in people do not loot that damn core hound uh so get the fucking add-on so we can see exactly who is the idiot that's not looting the core hound it just helps everybody it's mandatory for our guild that i'm in that you have to have a lot of these add-ons so just get it or loot the co core hound and don't get it either one makes me happy uh number four Number four and number five really depend on what type of guild you are in. So number four is RC Loot Council. RC Loot Council is basically just an interface that during a raid when uh, it's time for whoever your master looter is to hand out loot, it's going to pop up a nice clean interface saying do you want to greed do you want to need it is it an off spec uh does it complete your five piece it basically takes all that information and gives it to whoever your loot council is to be able to decipher and pick who they want to give it to uh, a lot of guilds like that's mandatory if, if you're a, a guild council or a loot council guild you have to have this or they won't even let you roll on loot um, and then number five, DKP Monolith. This is if you were, depending, like I said, it's all about how your guild is structured. Uh, some guilds are DKP still, so every you know dragon you kill or whatever boss, you get five points, and then when something drops, it's like, all right, how many points do you wanna use to get that item? You basically save up your points for the big items you want. And sometimes they put like a minimum, but it's like a clean interface that lets you track how many DKP you have and everybody else has. So just check with the, uh, whatever your guild is, or if you're just getting into a guild, what they're going to use. You're going to need one or two of those add-ons. Number six, Raid Summon. So this is more geared mainly towards Warlocks, uh, but if you have a ton of Warlocks, everybody's summoning, you don't wanna waste soul shards by summoning the same person. As you'll see, when someone types one, two, three, just that into uh, the raid chat or whatever, it will automatically prompt a little box like this over here, and then you can uh, right click on their name, left click, and it automatically starts summoning them. So one, it does like a quick summon right there and it's a nice list of who y'all need to summon. But when you click someone, it puts it in raid chat, it private messages them and lets them know like, hey, you're getting summoned. And then on top of that, it removes them from the list. So 
all warlocks should have this especially for raiding and you got to like world bosses stuff like that when you're you gotta hurry up and summon you know 30 40 people you don't want to be wasting so this really helps track all that like i said that's called raid summon all right number seven decurse decursive what it does is if you see these two dots when i'm in a raid this is going to be a big box with a ton of different dots you can modify this all kind of different ways by actually typing in um, D cursive and it's going to pop up this thing here. You also have a little uh, icon over there and you can change a lot of different things in here depending on the curses or if you only can do you know one thing and not the other. You can set it up where it ignores. Um, like mana ignite where it's only affecting people with mana you can have it ignore rogues and warriors and people it doesn't even matter so you don't see them on your list but what's super nice instead of having to keep target targeting someone and hitting uh like uh remove curse i could just left click and it'll just remove it so i'm just like some of the fights during mc uh cro magnus stuff like that all i'm doing is just spamming left click over and over on any of them like right now see how they look faded when they have a curse on them they'll be like blood red so i could just spam and then it's so easy to decurse everybody like i said it'd be a pain in the butt to try to click on all the raid frames and everything else it makes it so easy it's a must if you're a mage for raiding and then finally, number eight, GTFO. Get the fuck off. What that is referring to is in a lot of fights, you know, there's fire on the ground or anything else. Uh, it's going to pop up. One, it's going to make your screen like flash red. And then two, it's going to be like, get out of the fire. So for whatever reason, we still have people even in our raid uh, dying to just stupid mechanics, just standing in rain of fire or whatever gtfo probably because they don't have that add-on and they're not paying attention they're just worried about dps and with the add-on it makes it very clear that you're taking damage and that you need to move up in this top hand corner right here these are actually the must have add-ons video that i made it's a two-part guide so you can choose number one or number two depending on what you've already seen before these are more just for raid add-ons where the other ones are must have for every single person even if you're not raiding but until then guys game on